Okay, it's Pop Star Mag is here with James and Kendall from Big Time Rush. What up, Pop Star? Star? We just saw you guys perform at the Upfront presentation. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. So, can you give us any scoop on the Jordan Sparks episode? Yeah. Um, we, uh, besides recorded. the fact she's the coolest girl ever, she is. She's honestly so sweet and unbelievably talented. We recorded a song with her, E-Man produced it, and we're excited for you guys to hear that. Yeah. What was like a funny on-set moment with her? Uh, I actually have been continuously playing Words with Friends with her. I've been playing Scrabble on my phone, like, so I, like, literally, it's been a week ago that we did this, and I'll, I get on today, and she's still playing Scrabble with me, so, the fact that she's that competitive is, is kind of scaring me, but, like, <laughs> she sends me little chats, and they're like, like, uh, yeah, I beat you again, it's like, not even wow. cool. Yeah, seriously, competitive. She is. She's mm -hmm. obviously she's competitive to get where she's at, mm -hmm. and she's good. She's mm -hmm. very good, very sweet. So, for your characters on the show, if you guys could cast any girl to play your girlfriend, who would you cast? That's, uh... What, you mean, like, characters that aren't already on the show, or mm -hmm. characters on the show? To be characters on the show. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's a good question. It's a good way of asking who we <laughs> like right now. <laughs> well. What do you think? Man. Man, That's there's tough. a lot of... A lot of cute girls. It's tough. There. You know, uh, I would like... Good. I'm, I'm still not. I've yet to, yet to meet Emma Roberts. Maybe have her come on. She's cute. Very nice. Um, you know, oh god, I feel so bad. I don't remember her name, but she's so cute. She's the girl from. Uh, I. This is gonna be terrible. I can't even say it. I will now. look. I will look. Can't even up, say it. I, I forget. But the girl from Let Me Snicket. Wow. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I. I'm sorry, girl from Let Me Snicket. I, I know. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna get so much crap for this, but I think you're really cute, and I think you'd be a good girlfriend on the show. Okay, so, um, Twilight versus Harry Potter, what's your pick? Harry, you Potter, like Harry Potter for Harry Potter. Loved, read, wrote, read all the books growing up. They did wonderful jobs in the movies. I'm still interested in seeing the next one. I listened to all the books. Um, <laughs> you're terrible. <laughs> I'm taping the car. No, it's cool because there's a guy that does the voices. Like whenever like a like a house elf comes in, he's like, yeah, I love books on tape. I'm Dobby, the house elf. <laughs> <laughs> like, he would actually do the voices, and then the same same guy did the girl voices, too. So, like, whenever Hermione would come in, he'd be How like, was that cool? That's weird. It was awesome. It was a little weird. <laughs> you know? A little weird. Let's like, just agree that that's weird. Harry Potter's anyway, cool. cool. And Twilight's cool, too, just not my kind of thing. Yeah, I agree. So, what could, a do, what, what could a girl do to get your attention? Be yourself. Yeah. There's no reason I, in hiding anything, you know? I'm trying to act a certain way. It's, mm -hmm. it's gotta be you. I'm much more attracted to girls who don't wear makeup or don't mm -hmm. wear that much makeup than the one who gets totally glammed up. I mean, to mm -hmm. be honest, it's not that not that appealing. Just be you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like you're gonna hide something, you know? Yes. Show yourself. Mm -hmm. So, what's one thing about guys that girls just need to understand if they're dating them? You're not gonna change a dude. I don't. I mean, you really aren't. Like, you don't think you can change anybody. Mm -hmm. You can change a habit, maybe. But sure. You're not gonna. I mean, like that's why if you find someone, if you're dating someone, you have to find that person you connect with. Because you can't change, and you can't expect someone, mm -hmm. you know, like, I wouldn't expect someone to change for me, so I would hope that someone wouldn't expect me to change for them. Like, completely change. I mean, like, it's one thing to do, you know, change the little things. But. And just get used to it. Dudes love their video games, love their cars, <laughs> love Food. the beach, eat a lot, they love barbecuing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you just have to accept all these Anything things. manly punching, punching bags. They like hitting things. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why. I just, I go outside, I was a punching bag outside, I'll go there like, and like, ah! I hit the bunny bag. And they have to have, like, dude time. Like, you have yeah. to have your friends mm -hmm. that you yeah. gotta have. We're really gotta, animated you, about this. You gotta let them have dude That's the main one. You gotta let them have dude time. Mm -hmm. And you can't be jealous about it. Like, it's not like they like spending any more time with their dudes as they must. But it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different world. There's, like, girl time, and then there's dude time. Mm -hmm. So, any update on, like, album and tour and <laughs> stuff? <laughs> yes. So, uh... They, ju they just saw Halfway There, that's a new song that we're actually going to have out on iTunes. Have out on iTunes. Have out on iTunes. Really soon. And likewise, there's a couple upcoming songs. We just performed Stuck for you before we did Big Time Rush Live 20 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Stuck's going to be out when that episode airs pretty soon. And then we are officially going to release an album this summer. Yep. And um, dream person to go on tour with? Oh, Justin Timberlake. That would be so That would cool. be awesome. I actually, I, and I've met him a few times, I'd like to go on tour with Forever the Sickest Kids. I think they're, re they're really cool guys, and they are the sickest kids. They're really, they're awesome. And Kids Choice Awards are this weekend. Yeah. Who are you guys so excited to meet? Rihanna. I really, really want to see her I'm perform. excited to meet whoever will take the time to introduce <laughs> themselves <laughs> to us. Because <laughs> I think we're going to be walking around there like, 
And everyone's gonna be like, there's gonna be a lot of like, who are these four dudes? And we're just like, we're just here to watch. Hey, what's up, guy? Hey, we're just, you're so good. No, I'd like, honestly, I'd love to meet Rihanna. She, um, that'd be really cool. Um, yeah. Kevin James, oh, Kevin James. We saw him dancing, rehearsing briefly yeah. yesterday, real briefly, and we're gonna see him Friday and Saturday. So I'm yeah. excited about that. Hey, what's been like the most memorable fan encounter you had since the show premiered? I still think the teddy bears were cool. Like that's yeah. been my favorite so far. We had some fans in New York City. We did a, it back in January. We were yeah. over there for like a meet and greet and a teaser premiere. And these fans came and they brought us four custom made like build a bear teddy bears with everything. Like I had mine had a flannel shirt on mm -hmm. with a hockey stick, and then Carlos's had a helmet. <laughs> it was very cool that yeah. to do that. It was awesome. And if and if you're out there, we still have them. Oh, Mine's yeah. in my room. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.